Is your Fire Stick remote not working? Then you are at the right place. Here is how to fix the issue. Welcome back to Silicophilic, your go-to source for tech tips and fixes. Method 1. Check Compatibility When Fire Stick remote is not working, check compatibility in troubleshoot mode. Press the Alexa or microphone button. If the LED at the top of the remote flashes, your remote supports troubleshooting mode. Press the rewind and write buttons. Hold both buttons simultaneously for 3 seconds. Next, press the menu button. If the LED will turn green, it indicates that troubleshooting mode is active. Now, to identify the issue, press any button on the remote. Then observe the LED color to diagnose the problem. If you find red light is blinking, then this indicates low battery. If this is the case, go to the next step. Method 2. Replace the batteries Ensure that the batteries in your remote are fresh. The Fire Stick remote uses Bluetooth, draining batteries faster than standard remotes. Replace the batteries if they are old or depleted. Once you have replaced the batteries, check if this works. Method 3. Restart the device If the LED light blinks blue or white, then make sure the TV is turned on. If this is the case, you can turn on the device and then check. If the device is already turned on, then restart it. Power the device off, then unplug it from the main socket. Then reconnect everything and power on the device. Method 4. Move the TV closer. Make sure your TV is not far away from the remote. Move your remote closer to your device so that there is no interference. The devices should be within 10 feet or 3 meters. Other electronic devices, metal objects or even thick walls can interfere with the signal. So, remove any object in between the devices and check if that works. Method 5. Pair the remote If the orange light blinks on your Fire Stick remote, it mostly suggests that your Fire TV remote isn't paired. Restart your Fire TV device and wait for the cannot detect your remote message to appear on the screen. Once you see the message, press and hold the home button on the remote for 10 seconds to pair it again. Method 6. Reduce interference Sometimes the connected Bluetooth devices can interfere with the device and cause such issues. Ensure there are no other Bluetooth devices nearby that might interfere with the connection. Turn off any unnecessary Bluetooth devices. Once done, check if this could fix the issue. Method 7. Use an HDMI extender. If your Fire Stick is plugged directly into the back of your TV, it might be too close to the TV's body, which can interfere with the remote signal. Using an HDMI extender can help position the Fire Stick in a better location. Method 8. Reset the Fire TV Remote The next thing you can do is reset the Fire TV Remote. Unplug your Fire TV from the power supply and HDMI input and then wait 60 seconds. Press and hold the left menu and the back button simultaneously for about 12 seconds. Release the buttons and wait 5 seconds. Remove the batteries from your remote. Plug in your Fire TV and wait until you see the screen indicating the remote cannot be detected. Reinsert the batteries into your remote. Press the home button. When the LED indicator blinks blue, your remote is paired successfully. If not, press the home button for 10 seconds. Here you need to note that not all remotes have an LED indicator light. To reset the Alexa Voice remote first generation, unplug your Fire TV from the power supply and HDMI input and then wait 60 seconds. Press and hold the left and menu button simultaneously for 12 seconds. Release the buttons and wait 5 seconds. Remove the batteries from your remote. Plug in your Fire TV and wait until you see the screen indicating the remote can't be detected. Reinsert the batteries into your remote. Press the home button on the remote. Your remote should now be paired. If not, press the home button for 10 seconds. And there you have it. The ways to fix the issue when Fire Stick remote is not working as expected. We hope one of the methods have worked for you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tips and troubleshooting guides. Leave a comment and help others know about this video. 
Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.